Now, as we mentioned at the top of the bulletin, South Korea is celebrating its Independence Movement Day today. To mark the occasion, we thought we'd take a look at the prospects for relations between South Korea and Japan. Ties between the neighbors have worsened sharply in recent months over history and territorial related issues. But amid the gloominess, is there a glint of light on the horizon? Connie Kim has this report. On December 28, 2015, Korea and Japan reached a landmark agreement on the issue of Japan's wartime sex slavery victims, the so called Comfort Women. It looked like the two countries were finally putting this thorny topic behind, but dozens of surviving victims refused to accept the agreement, demanding a formal apology from Tokyo, specifically addressed to themselves, along with direct compensation. This satisfaction of the agreement among the public brood, leading to a civic group to set a new statue commemorating the victims near the back gate of Japan's consulate in the Korean port city, Busan. Since then, bilateral tensions started flaring up. Japan recalled its ambassador to Korea and consul general indefinitely in protest of the statue. Escalating tensions further, Tokyo strengthened its territorial claims on Korea's easternmost Tokto Island, while refusing to accept Seoul's call to duly name the body of water between the two countries as East Sea and Sea of Japan. As such, there are concerns that there is no feasible solution for the two countries' differences. With Korea's president waiting for the constitutional court's impeachment verdict, Seoul's foreign ministry cannot exert much influence on the diplomatic front. The best thing to do at this point is to prevent things from getting worse. And making things worse, according to experts, would be the Korean government relocating the statue, which in turn will spark the anger among Korean civic groups. But experts say the real danger to relations between Seoul and Tokyo in the long term is the current vacancy in the diplomatic front. The situation right now in Northeast Asia can be compared to the calm before the storm. The two nations have been cooperating in taking a strong stance against North Korea, but it will be hard for both to do likewise if this diplomatic vacancy continues. With Japan's envoy yet to return to his post in Korea, the diplomatic vacancy is likely to continue, especially since Tokyo has called Seoul's urging of local municipalities to relocate the Comfort Woman statue insufficient, hinting that Japan will maintain the current situation for the time being. Connie Kim, Arirang News.